there are those who don't have any accounting background at all, accounting finance background at all, and they are afraid of accounting finance. Accounting finance, but I share with them that it is not important. It's not about let's give you a record of what you are bringing in and how they are going on. And from that, we get to whether you are taking profit or otherwise. Thank you for this time. Okay, my experience participation. So I did one, and let me put it out there. I when I was a contact here, yeah, there will be a lot of people that are really high interest and I don't want to talk. But then I was told of young people here, so it's important that I come and speak to younger people. And it has been has been so interesting for me. I opened up met a lot of young women who are interested in writing, interested in advocacy. Women who are in politics, women who spend their years in their universities and colleges participating in school politics, or if they work in radio, they are not doing those entertainment and relationship programs, but they're doing politics. That's what I have to tell you, warms my heart. So um, this has been insightful for me. What I would say for the people who to be who are interested in writing is that you are nothing. You cannot be a writer. And so please, if you do want to write, set up that blog, please read. Not just the most novels they are good, but read other things. I find that fiction opens the mind as well. So please read. That's all I will say. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much. It's not here, right? Yeah, uh, I'll keep this nice and short. Um, some of the conversations I had with the folks who came over to me, two things to take away. One, research. Research, research, research. You want to go into a new career area, you don't know about it, research. Read, 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 read. And I've said it, I can't say it enough. You're not too sure about something, whether it's school choices, whether it's career, entrepreneurship, what's the market like, research. You cannot, you don't have an excuse. If you live in a world with so much information, so ready at your fingertips, but then you're not reading, you're not using it. So research, research, research. Data matters. I was talking to one of the mentors from here, and we are talking about data. Data is what should be the foundation of your decisions. There has to be evidence that is leading you to make the decisions you are making. And so data, gathering data, if you are an entrepreneur, you're working on a small project, be gathering data, your operations, daily spending, daily usage, everything. Then you begin to see the patterns and the trends over time, which help you to make strategic decisions. So research and data, everything. And then lastly, leadership. So one of the things I shared with them was, don't see leadership as something that has to do with a position and a title, and I have to have some big name and big position. No, that is big L. Big L is big leadership. That's where you have some kind of authority conferred upon you and so, some formal group. However, not all of us need big L's, but all of us are small L's. Small L is just the fact that you're a human being. It makes you a leader. Leadership is one of our titles and positions. The fact that you can influence somebody makes you a leader. If you hold a four-year-old, a four-month-old baby, and you smile at the baby, the usual response is they smile back. That's influence. So if you can influence a baby to respond to you in a certain way, then you can certainly influence the people around you, family, co-workers, um, friends, etc. So use that to decide whether I like it or not, I am a leader. When anybody tells you you are the leader of tomorrow, tell them that's nonsense. You are a leader now. You are a leader wherever you are, whatever you are doing. So you are not waiting for some one day, one day, you want to get some big boost to be there, you become a leader. You're a leader now. And so think of how you can use that opportunity to influence people positively. Alright? Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll then mention that. And make sure you hear that speech. And make sure you see the TV right. Thank you. Hi. Um, so this this has been pretty incredible. Um, I think one of the things that 
just want to know guys with this half pound. Like no matter what you do, because a lot of the people I spoke to, like, yes, we're not really sure where the career paths are and how you want to do it and what you want to do, but please have fun about the buildings. Because when you look back, like this is where you're making all the memories. This is how you're creating all the memories. And if you don't have fun while doing it, you get to the end of it and you realize just how much you've lost along the period. So I think my biggest thing I want to give you with is try and have as much fun as possible getting to where you eventually want to get to. It will be hard, yes, it will be. But have fun doing it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon to you all. First of all, from the Arts and Tanka too, and then the team for
And then after that, um, you don't just talk. Okay? We're, we're a nation of talkers. And I like to believe that everyone here is an action doer, you know, and not a talker. So beyond the talking, obviously, now where do I fit in? What can I do? The business I want to do, the career path I want to do. It's not just about making money and driving nice cars and living in nice houses. If you have all those things and you're not making an impact in your society for the generations after you, then you have failed to take responsibility. And that's what I want to say to you. Um, from the letters, we can all agree that Batman has stayed relevant for all these years. And so, round of applause to our show, round of us here. We were protected. I said earlier that I was part of the very first uh, Batman. That was 2008. Unfortunately, due to a lot of deployments around, I've not been really around. But I'm so happy we are here today, and Batman is still doing what it set out to do 10 years ago. So, uh, a lot of the mentors were talking about research. And when it comes to the health industry, this is where a lot of us fall short. People are passionate about a lot of things they want to do in the health sector. People are very passionate about child and health, maternal health, adolescent reproductive health, but they know very, very little. And so I must put it out there. In fact, this is what I do to them. I do to the mentees. It's a big put up to go go asking for um, funding when you don't know about what you are talking about. So it is important. Like we all realize everybody was talking about research. Let us try and research, research more about anything we are passionate about. Passion is not enough. Our knowledge will then go ahead and help package your passion and then to be able to sell it out to other people. And I must admit, when when I set out that I want to mentor and help, I thought it was going to be very, very lonely because we hadn't seen this. But there were some very brilliant ideas that came up to my face. And a beauty queen who was going to survive our cancer education, and which was so, so good. So I would just um, like to encourage all of us that anytime you are passionate about anything, health or technical, we should try to get a lot of ideas about it so that we can sell this story out there. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. We have a new program working with young men and we're thinking through ideas of how does she activate local fundraising? Um, how do you ensure that you, you know, you, you run the organization with the highest ideals of transparency and integrity so that it attracts credibility for funding? Um, and, and lots of others. So I've been, in fact, I, I love that Ghana thing focuses on action. Let's talk more action. And my interaction with everyone today exemplified that. And so I'll share with everyone the message that I told all of them, which is have a clear dream and a vision of what you want to achieve. Beyond just the micro, at a large level, let that dream and that vision, to me that's the X on the map. That shows you where you want to go. And with that in mind, you can then have the hard work, come to events like this, network with people, figure out what you need to be able to get to that X on the map. But you need to know where that X is. You need to know what that dream is, what that vision is, to be able to accomplish it. And from what I've seen and what I've heard already, I've been quite inspired and I'm very optimistic for the future of our countries. I want to encourage all of you, don't give up. Continue to exemplify that excellence and in everything you do, reach for the stars and you surely get there. God bless you.